My son was a good man. On this day, dueling press conferences. One with the Pierce County Sheriff's Department, the other with a family. We need justice for him. And their advocates. I'm not going to allow the media or law enforcement to make this family feel that they are accountable or this young man uh, responsible for his own death because he was having a mental health crisis. It is a shame. And I'm not going to sit here and allow it to happen. Here, there's anger not and anguish time. after the death of Billy Langfit. That was Billy's girlfriend. <laughs> And the one that called 911. Girlfriend Naomi Powers says Billy was having a mental health crisis. And I asked for help and they killed him. I had to watch the whole thing. It happened in Pierce County last Friday. They said that Billy had a knife. Billy did not have a knife. The lead detective in this matter has indicated very clearly to this family that there was no weapon on that person at the time that they shot him repeatedly over and over and over and over and over again. The first thing that everybody's concerned about is I know that um, we said that we believed he had a knife. Um, it turns out he did not have a knife, but the 911 call that came in original when the deputy responded was that he was armed with a knife. The sheriff's department provided this. Uh, I think he has a, um, a knife that he's literally flipping out. Okay. That's girlfriend Naomi's voice. As the call continues, she says Billy is jumping on cars. He just pushed me over and he ran up the lady in her car. Okay. The dispatcher asked about the weapon. Okay. And you said he had a weapon on him. What kind of weapon did he have? I have it now. Naomi describes it as a folding knife and says it's in her possession and she's okay. Psychiatric like, yeah, help. According to the sheriff's department, when a deputy arrives after he exits his vehicle, Billy jumps in the front seat of the patrol car. Our deputy's thought at that point was he can't take this patrol car. There's a rifle in it and the way he's acting, if he takes off in this patrol car, then we have a bigger problem. And he was trying to stop that problem. The deputy then fires several shots, killing Billy. I told him that he didn't have any weapons on him. He was unarmed. At this press conference, they say police need more training. This needs to be acknowledged, that this is not the way that you deal with people, human beings, in crisis. We and here, the sheriff says the community much. depends on deputies is to do too much. With regard to substance abuse, with regard to mental illness, um, with regard to homelessness, just let the cops handle it. What both sides agree on is more needs to be done to help those struggling with mental illness. We have to work together to bring change. For this family, that's now their mission. Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.